Hello everybody and welcome to Five Day. Today I wanted to show you all a little something that I've been working on for the past couple of days and I thought it was really cool so I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. So here is a planet that is completely designed by me. There is a city that is from online and here's the little animation which I made. So I'm kind of proud of that. I obviously haven't graded it or anything. It doesn't look very good right now, but the basics are there. So I wanted to show you guys how I did it, pretty much. So essentially I got three separate images. I got first this image, which is just a map, which I found online. It was a, uh, a guy who built like a world online. And this was one of his uh, maps of the entire planet. And I saw it and I just really loved it. So uh, I can even link the image in the description if you're interested in copying this. So essentially I got this file here and I just called it planet flat and it was one composition file. On that I got this image of the planet. I then put clouds over top and this is just a cloud system of the earth and uh, here it is. Um, it was white and I think there was blue in the background so what I ended up having to do was um, I went in here, I turned it to screen, well let's see, normal. So yeah, normal it was just black so you can't see anything through it. However if I go here and I go to screen then you can see it takes away all the black and you can just see the uh, planet underneath whatever layer is below it. So that was nice. Then I did something which was kind of neat. I added a city, where basically, uh, in terms of the story, I wanted one giant city to be on the surface. So, here is the one massive nation which I placed on the surface here. And, as you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, the edges, well first off, it's very pixelated. But the edges are rough and scattered. Also, they end too precisely, you see, the the... It's just, it's cut off there for some reason. No one has invested any money in putting buildings here, but they put them everywhere else. So it doesn't really make sense in that way. However, whenever you add all of these together, you can't really tell. It's, it's kind of a nice, really large looking city. So what I did then was I made a new composition. And on that new composition, let me close this really fast. I created a planet flat, where basically I got the planet flat, put it into a composition, I made this new composition of sphere planet, I brought it over and I used a preset called CC Sphere, where essentially you can make a sphere out of anything you want. So as long as it is an image, you can make a sphere out of it. So. You probably could even see here if I just said like, well I guess if I just turn the effect off, it's just a flat image here of the planet. If I turn the effect back on, it makes an actual sphere. Uh, you can also toy with the lighting and things like that if you want to, uh, say, I don't know, change the light direction so you could say lights coming from this side now and then it's on the dark side of a planet or lights coming from the top or lights coming from the bottom. You can do whatever you want and kind of change it around. Um, I didn't want to have to worry about it so I just put the light source somewhere off the distance here and then I had the uh, the ship come into frame and of course I haven't uh, put a screen over the ship yet so it looks very out of place with this but I'll fix it up soon. Speaking of the ship, this is the way I did that. Um, essentially, I used the same effects which I used during the clone video. I went onto the internet, I found this image of a ship, I think it's a Star Wars ship actually, and it's awesome looking, and it is exactly what I wanted, the angle and everything is just what I needed. So, I went on the internet, I found that. Uh, as you can see here, let me just take all this away. It has nothing here, it is just blank engines. 
and I was able to add the different blasting effects of the engines personally. So what I did was, I went in, let's see, this one, shall we? I went in, and I masked out just this area. So, as you can see there, there's the mask for it. Then from that, I went into my effects. I put in a fractal noise effect first, where I was able to well, here, let me show you this. Maybe it's a little bit easier to see if I turn these off. So, this is the fractal noise, alright? And I was able to tell, uh, I was able to make it exactly what I wanted. I was able to make it kind of a uh, wispy feeling, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I put CC Color Vibrance on over top of that, so I could get that blue color which I wanted, because I really love that color. And then I added a glow to it. So it looked like it was heating up the space around it. It wasn't just, or I guess it was radiating heat, because you can't really heat up space. But it was radiating heat from it, and I wanted to kind of give that effect a bit of a warping from the engines. And then I put in probably one of my favorite effects, uh, Radial Fast Blur, which essentially I'll play it again here. You see it drags out the fractal noise effect so that it's in kind of like an aurora borealis type of effect here where it splays it out into space but whenever you play it through uh, as long as the fractal noise is moving beneath it I'm just going to let it loop here but as long as the fractal noise is moving beneath it the light will shift so you can tell there's a change in it it doesn't look like it's just a light coming from the engines, and it's unchanging. It doesn't look like an image floating across the screen. There's movement to it, and there's change to it, and it makes it feel more dynamic. It makes it feel like it's actually moving through space, as opposed to just, you know, an image moving left to right across the screen. So, I can loop this here, and you'll be able to see that's a little bit more of what I was going for. I wanted something that moved to it. I wanted something that was ever-changing. So, yeah. That's uh, that's that neat little effect, and it was super easy to accomplish. Like I said, I already had all of the stuff done practically. I was just using the effects which I already had from uh, the clone video. So then, once that's all up, I just masked out. I did the exact same thing with all the rest. I kept the same presets. I just loaded them onto the rest of these. And then I had a solid video of this ship. And the the blasts were from the engines were kind of all shifting in the way that I liked, so it worked out really well. So yeah, then I just got it. I imported it over here. Uh, I blew it up so that it was it looked like it was coming onto the frame from far away. And as it shifts onto the frame here, I noticed that it looked kind of dead. It looked like it was just floating down slowly towards the frame. So. I wanted to, A, put in dynamic lighting, and then, I'm going to do this later, um, I wanted to put in dynamic lighting, and I also wanted to maybe blow it up even more, see if I can get a higher res copy of the ship, and then keep the same engine blast type of thing, and then bring it, maybe to say, bring it to maybe here, that way it's super blown up and it's just coming into frame and it's kind of looming and scary looking. That would be what I would be going for. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that would be what I would try for. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all for today. I just wanted to show you guys something cool that I've been working on. Um, if you guys like these videos, maybe I can keep doing these. But yeah, that was... Oh, oh, of course, and the star field in the background. Basically, I got a giant star field image, and I just put it in the background. Then I put the sphere over top of it, and I got the black ship here, and I just put it to screen, I believe, and then I filtered out the, uh, the black pieces, and then I just whoo, ship onto the screen. So, yeah. If you guys enjoy this, please like the video, please subscribe and share it with your friends if you're interested, and I will hopefully be uploading a lot more effects videos like this because I'm working on a very effects-heavy project right now, which involves the scene which you see before you. 
So I hope you guys really enjoy, and I will see you all next Friday. Bye-bye.